Thank you very much, Timmy Tokpolodu, for joining us at this time. What are your thoughts on this uh, latest killing? Um, it's sad in that we're having this situation. It's unfortunate that uh, history is repeating itself again. We have a situation where this is recorded. It's been happening since 1959, based on research, 1980, 1991, 2001. And of recent, we know that the governor of both states actually had a meeting in February 2017. Sorry, Timothy, are you tracing these killings in Nasarawa to 1959 or it goes far beyond Nasarawa state? I'm saying that issue of a communal clash is you know, around this area have been on for quite a long time. So there are lessons that could be learned from different incidents of this nature. And the fact that the, gov the governors of both, of, of both states actually met of recent, even as far as last year, to have a discussion about crisis in those areas, we should not be going through this again. That's exactly what I'm saying. Absolutely. And then the recipe now uh, for peace in areas like Nasara State and elsewhere, where, of course, uh, there is a mixed breed, so to speak, now of people from various uh, religions, various tribes. Uh, there seems to be a similar narrative in what happened in, in Nasara State recently. Yes, it is. And, and, and that's the reason why I'm saying this should not be happening. You know, we are all Nigerians. We are all, whichever way you look at it, people have intermarried into those communities at the border. Uh, people have been living you know, side by side for you know, many years. Why is it that recently we're just having all this crisis happening and happening? And I think it is high time that it's not just about giving amnesty to people that are committing criminality, but actually using people as examples to say this must not happen again. Because some individuals, some youth people have taken the law into their hands, taken lives of innocent people, and yet they believe they can get away with it scot-free. We should not be allowing this to happen in the 21st century. And government need to take this, you know, enough is enough. Killing people and believing you can get away with it should not be happening. There should be a way in which we could resolve crisis. If friends have argument, if communities have argument, they must know that there are instituted authorities that they could go to and laws will be uh, applied, you know, to whatever grievances they've got. Right, Timmy but what should authorities be looking at now that there's a mandate, a seven-day mandate to find the killers? I think... Uh, they should be calling people in. Uh, there are videos, uh, there are pictures. People know what is happening. People should be arrested and uh, questioned. I'm not saying brutalized, but questioned to get intelligent information from individuals. And those responsible should be should face the law and it should be swift so that families could know that if their loved ones are lost in this process, there is justice along the line. When there is no justice, there will be grievances, and those grievances build into hatred, and then those hatred are held for days, for months, and then when there's another incident, people want to vent that those angers. But I think uh, the fact that both uh, both states and individuals and Nigerians from all sides are looking at resolving this issue, that is good news, and I'm hoping that the peace will return to those communities where they have been uh, devastation. Many thanks, Timmy Tokwa Olodo, for sharing your thoughts on TVC News.